Hi, my name is Anna, and um, I want to share some parenting advice with you. Um, I have two children, a two-year-old and a nine-month-old, was number three on the way. And I have more than 10 years of preschool teaching experience, um, plus a degree in teaching elementary and preschool, specializing in special ed. So I thought I have a few uh, pieces of advice I may want to share with you. Uh, first of all is do not get discouraged when your preschool teachers are telling you that your child is angelic and, as, and at home your child is completely out of control. Totally normal, happens all the time and the reason of course is that you are his safety zone and that's where he feels comfortable, he or she feels comfortable to show his true colors and it's a good and a healthy thing as long as it has healthy boundaries. Many of my uh, parents are asking me for parenting advice and there are different schools of thought on that and there are different techniques. Some are a little bit more basic but 100% effective that are based on a theory that's called behaviorism and some are more newish, um, positive discipline uh, is the new movement. We want to be more sophisticated and tailor our approaches. So, um, of course, it's always good to be proactive and solve the discipline issues before they arise by creating healthy boundaries and routines. Um, but I will be giving you a little uh, tips here and there about different situations and how to approach them. Today, what I want to talk about is natural consequences. Um, it's very easy to want to pick up every single fight and prove your child what's best and try to reason with them, but it's not the most effective approach most of the time. Oftentimes, it's best to completely not get involved and let your child learn the natural way. So what is a natural consequence? For example, if your child touches fire, natural consequence will be his hand will get burned. Can we do that? We can't. It would not be safe. But there are many other situations in which natural consequence is not dangerous and it's extremely effective. For instance, if your child is refusing to wear his or her jacket, look outside. If it's not snow, say, okay. This child will go outside, get cold, and learn naturally without any interference or intervention from you, from you that when it's cold outside, you may want to wear a jacket. Or again, your child will say, I do not want to take any snack with me, and you'll be fighting over it. And you'd say, please take a snack, please, you'll get hungry, we're going for four hours. Or you can just say, are you sure? Okay. And then in two hours, when your child will be begging you for a snack, you'll say, Sorry, he chose not to. Well, that's a natural consequence. Your child's body will tell him that he made not such a good choice, and next time he will be wiser. That will be much more effective than you fighting every single time with your jacket, with your snack, or any other situation such as that. So, hopefully that will help you during your day, and I will see you next time.